what is up guys Lynn here with the video for you all today what I'm going to attempt to do <laughs> is transfer all the content from my 256 gigabyte micro SD card to the 400 gigabyte micro SD card card so what I'm going to use is this right here okay and this has a little card reader in it and then I can put my old SD card like I have one right here I can put the old SD card in here put it plug it into the computer and then copy the contents over to the desktop then again I'm gonna try this where I will put the new SD card into the system so what I'm gonna do is turn the system off and then you just hit power options, turn off. And what it should do then is turn off. So this is, you probably can't see that. Oh no, it's 128. It's 128 gigabyte SD card. And I'm going to put in the 400 gigabyte SD card and see if it does in fact format the SD card to XFAT. So I'm going to do that and again I'll post a picture or whatever above to see if it actually works. Alright guys so what I did was again I turned off my switch took out my original SD card put in the 400 gigabyte SD card and this is showing I'm sorry for the glare this is showing the SD card and it's showing that there's 366 gigabytes available so now what I'm going to do is take this SD card out and um, put it in the PC and see if it's formatted in XFAT Turn it off. Alright guys, so what we have here is I have inserted the micro SD card that I took out of my switch into my PC to show you that it did in fact format the SD card, taking it right out of the package, sticking it, uh, turn, of course, like I said, turn the switch off remove your current micro SD card put in the new micro SD card and then turn the switch on and what it does is it all it formats the SD card for you what I am currently doing as as you are seeing what's here on the screen is I've taken the new SD card out of the card reader and put the old SD card back in the card reader so now I'm going to copy over the contents from the old SD card to the desktop now you can use a card reader that has dual slots that would make this a lot easier so you're copying information one time okay so but I'm doing this the way normal people would do this okay with just one card slot just so I could show you now I'm going to speed this up at some point uh, so it doesn't take up the full time that it took to actually copy this information over now real time that it took to copy over the 120 something gigs I forgot how much it is it should say it up on the screen It's small right now I can't see it but the amount that it the amount of time that it took to copy all of that information over was one hour 36 minutes and 44.96 seconds and then what I'm going to do is just tell you how long it took to copy the information from the desktop to the new SD card now why it only says there's 366 gigs I have no idea it's a 400 gig micro SD card I know it allocates certain amount of memory or whatnot for 
other things. I just wouldn't have thought that it would have allocated that much. But anywho, it's still a big jump from my 128 gig to uh, 366 gigs. So I'm going to speed this up and then uh, I will be back with you guys shortly. Alright guys, <clears throat> so this is going to be a test to see if everything transferred over. It took a total of, let's see, 1 hour, 58 minutes, and 10.44 seconds everything from my desktop to the micro SD card. So what we're going to do is go down here to system settings and then here's everything that had been transferred over to the SD card. As you see, everything shows the micro SD card. So this is all the games that has been transferred over and again, guys, this is real time, okay? So this is basically um, games, videos, photos, um, things like that that have been transferred over. Prevent auto archive. Okay, this is things that have been transferred over from the micro SD card. So now we're going to check the album and there's like 268 things here. We've got screenshots, we've got videos, we've got, see there's a whole bunch of things. I did not delete anything and I didn't delete anything for the very reason of I wanted to show you real transfer, okay? Not something where somebody had maybe two items or whatever on their SD card and then it took like two seconds. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, to transfer everything over. I wanted to actually do this for someone who has actual content on the SD card. So as you see, we're still going. We're still going. We're still going. We're seeing pictures. We're seeing, you know, uh, videos. So, you know, these are videos and pictures that I have saved. You saw the games that was transferred over. And so, yeah, it seems that everything worked. So what I would have to do at this point is go to the eShop. And then I can go in and re-download everything that I had to delete. You know, I had to delete some things. So I need to go in here and click the re-download. And then that'll be it. So yeah, I hope this helps anyone out who have had issues or who want to know how to upgrade your micro SD card on your Switch. It was a simple process for me. I hope it will be a simple process for you. And um, you have any questions, leave them down below if I am unable to answer. Hopefully someone else who view this will, who have had similar issues with you all. And I guess that'll be it for this video, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. If you're not currently subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos coming here in the near future. This is Lynn, a.k.a. GGT, 
gaming, gadgets, and technology. Till next time, guys, take care. Be safe. We'll see you on the